All right, going to do a review today of uh, Latika uh, Light and 223. Um, just had this gun, just got this gun about a month ago. It's a uh, it's a really nice gun. Uh, got it out in South Dakota, and this is the uh, the T3 Light and 223 with the one and eight twist. Uh, I have heard that. Teak has stopped making them in the 1 and 8 twist. Uh, I'm not sure why because they're very, very accurate, but they're now making them in the uh, 1 and 10 twist instead of the 1 and 8. So, but just want to give you a quick overview of the gun. Uh, my initial reaction, you know, when getting it is it, it seems pretty, pretty cheaply made from, you know, just the stock part of it. Uh, the action, the receiver, and the barrels seem to be really nice. They're all stainless. Uh, the bolt is super smooth. Uh, really can't complain about the bolt at all. It's, I mean, it's, it's super, super smooth. Um, the trigger also, um, I am a big uh, Savage fan. A lot of the, the guns that I have are, are Savage rifles. And the one complaint that I have on the majority of those are the trigger. Now, the active trigger models are a lot better, but not all of them have the active trigger. So, but this one has comes with the, the trigger that you, know, you can adjust down. It's I've adjusted mine down. It's pretty light. Uh, check. There's nothing in it. It's uh, probably about a pound, maybe just a little more than a pound now. Um, I'm actually using this gun in uh, groundhog competition matches uh, yesterday was the first one that I shot in uh, and came in third place with it so uh, the gun itself is is a really good shooter uh, this one is a stainless barrel obviously you can see uh, right now I just have a, a cheap BSA scope on it um, the magazine releases from the bottom here it's a uh, pretty cheaply made magazine. Uh, I have put a little piece there you can see. Now that piece there allows me to load one at a time from the top because I'm shooting a heavy for heavy grain 80, uh, 80 grain burger bullets. And it allows me to just toss it in and chamber it uh, because they will not fit in the magazine because they're too long. So, um, yeah, the magazine scene, I mean, it's just a plastic magazine. There's really nothing, nothing special to it. Um, I kind of wish that you could see this back piece right here is not cut out. I kind of wish they had cut that out deeper so that you could get the uh, heavier bullets loaded into the magazine. Um, as I said, super smooth bolt trigger is is really really crisp and light you can you can uh, lighten it down from the factory it comes probably around three pounds or so um, the butt stock on it on this one I mean is is really really tough um, however it is a 223 so there's really not going to be much uh, much for recoil so uh, safety is here on the, the top you can see Right there by the beside the bolt uh, all in all though I'm, I'm really impressed with how this thing shoots so let me show you some some of the uh, groups and stuff that I've shot with it I'll set this down here <clears throat> this was uh, this was in the first match that I'd shot with it in and you can see these here were my my cider shots and uh, I moved over and then shot a 10 here, 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 and then here. Uh, actually ran out of time and uh, didn't get a shot on that one, but with the ones I shot, I shot 10s and all those. The, uh, the match yesterday that I shot, this was at 100 yards. I was kind of disappointed 
that I dropped this one. Um, not exactly sure what happened. The, the wind was swirling a little. It wasn't too terribly bad though. Um, this was at 200 yards. And uh, these were good. This one's actually a, a mental mistake. I'd made a adjustment with the scope after shooting at my cider target. I went straight to the ground hog without confirming it. It shot low here. I confirmed that shot back over here and it was low. So I made necessary adjustments, shot the next two and they were there. Then at uh, 300 yards, uh, wind got me a little off to the right. Uh, but all in all, not too bad. Now, last weekend, let me grab this target. This was confirming my load data. Um, I'll show you a couple of these here. Well, here's uh, load workup. That's a uh, 100 yard group. That's what I was expecting to happen in the match, but it didn't. I'm going to show you this. Super impressed with this. Now, this was at. Uh, 300 yards uh, in this a 0.435 inch group at 300 yards. I was really impressed with that. So, uh, shooting these heavy bullets uh, seems to the gun seems to really like it. Uh, yeah, if you. Uh, if you get a chance to get your hands on one of these in the the 10 or the 8 twist and want to shoot the heavy bullets by all means you know you, you grab it because uh, they're a really good gun um, I've heard some good reports from the 10 twist as well however uh, for the wind bucking abilities I like shooting the, the heavier bullets but uh, good gun for uh, you know, for varminting or, you know, even if you use it like me, if you just use it uh, in shooting matches where they have a factory class. Uh, I will say that uh, for a couple of years now, I've been shooting up in uh, St. Thomas, PA uh, at their groundhog matches. And this, this gun right here, the Tika T3 and 223 is one almost every match in the past probably three years that I've been going and probably for many years before that so if you're looking for a, a super accurate uh, gun at a uh, reasonable price I think I paid 650 for it new um, which is not terrible it's a little more than what I like to spend on a factory gun but you know with it, when it performs like it does it's uh it's well worth that money so uh there it is the tika t3 and 223 thank you for watching